Okay, we're back. So, it's everything's programmed. Um, I just wanted to show you how to add texturing to this. A um, couple things that are pretty important. Now, I kind of cheated on one thing. Um, the TD and BD, I just copied it, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's go to back to this. Now, what you want to do to add texturing to this, it's just kind of like V-carving, but just you want to select all. Now, if by chance you were to not select this border, it's going to actually texture on top of the letters you just tried to save, essentially, the letters you made. So you have to select this border. And that's going to tell it to do it like V-carve. You know, if you put a border around something, it'll carve in instead of carve out. But anyway, so select all. Now we don't we want to eliminate these names from the texturing. We just want it to run up to all these borders. But what's really important is that you want to offset a little bit. You don't want the texturing to get so close to the letters that it starts touching them when it's lifting up and stuff like that. You got to be really careful. If you don't offset it a little bit, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to go to this texturing toolpath. Now, my bit is a ball nose. This one takes the longest amount of time, but I think it looks the coolest. And we know that our start depth is 0.2, but I just caution you. What you want to do is to do that. I, I copied it, okay? That TD, well, I guess it didn't work. All right, so TD and... I'm doing this in the dark so I can turn my light on. So add a plus, and then right click again, and then put BD. Okay, now, all these other numbers don't mean a lot to me. You can mess with them if you want. Um, I just basically went off essentially what it was pre-programmed for. But I mean, I guess I maybe have adjusted some, but you can play with it on your own. This is very important, boundary vector offset. If you do not put an offset in there, you're going to make this beautiful sign and your texturing is going to bump up up against things that you don't want it to touch. So a, a reasonable number is 0.125. That's going to keep you one eighth of an inch away from everything that you want to save. Otherwise, it's going to obliterate or potentially get into your, your lettering. So from there, and I should highlight one more thing, and I, I know you can't see it, but below this one one two five, you can't see my cursor. That point two inches safe Z, I programmed that at the beginning. For especially for stack text, if your safe Z is, you know, even if it's point one or you want it at least point two, because what will happen is while you're texturing, your bit potentially could run across your raised letters, and it's not going to be you're not going to be happy about it. So keep your safe Z at 0.2, and that'll keep everything clear when it's running across the texture. So let's calculate this. And this takes usually a little bit of time for because it's a long, it's probably, I don't know, three or four hours to run this, to just the texturing. Um, it's a long time, so it's thinking, calculating. It might not like my offset, kind of thinking it's a little too much, but... I don't really care. I've actually already programmed this at, at 0 0.05 and 0 0.1, and I still got a little bit of um, that bit bumping up against my numbers, my my text. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try to open this up. There we go. So now you can see the tool pass. The bit's going to be running across it a whole lot. But as you see, it's gonna it's going across the letters. The red line is saying it's not touching material. The blue lines are saying that it is touching material. So let's preview it. There it goes. Okay, so it got a little up against my E. Just a tad, but that's pretty tight. I mean, that's I think that's going to look really good when you look at how close that is. Yeah, I got a little bit on my edges here. Honestly, I've done enough of these to know it's probably good to go. And part of the solution to that is to not 
um, you know, just zero it high when you first run it. Zero it a little bit high. So you can always, you know, run it again. But you see my, on some of those edges of those letters, my, my texturing bits touching. So I, I won't go on about that. Um, but that's, that's how you do that. So let's see if I can close that. There we go. But it looks, looks pretty good. So that's it. Uh, the next video will be me running it on the machine, and I'll, I'll post enough videos to show the entire process because I think it's a very helpful to, to do an entire project to show all those specifics. All right. The next video will be in the shop, and we'll be making it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it helped somebody or, you know, maybe got you help to figure out some jam you were in or something that wasn't working for you. And uh, we'll see you in a minute. Thanks.